Hello everyone, my name is Tilva Anand and I am student of Government Engineering College Rajkot. My enrollment number is 18 series 117. Subject is Wireless Communication and I am student of EC 7 sem My today's presentation topic is Ultra Wideband Radio. Title and content to be discussed in this presentation is what is UWB, principles of UWB, advantages of UWB, applications of UWB, UWB characteristics, comparison with other technologies, UWB technologies, information modulation, challenges, conclusion and references. First of all, what is UWB? UWB is a wireless technology developed to transfer data at high rates over very short distances at very low power densities and an area of immense current interest with uh, numerous potential applications. UWB short range radio technology complements other longer range radio technologies such as Wi-Fi, WiMAX and cellular wide area communications. It is used to relay data from a host device to other devices in the immediate area up to 10 meters or 30 feet. Has the ability to carry signals through doors and other uh, obstacles that tend to reflect signals at more limited bandwidths and at higher power levels. Radio technology that modulates uh, impulse based waveforms instead of continuous carrier waveforms. Here is comparison with narrow band communication and ultra wideband communication with respect to time domain behavior and frequency domain behavior. Principles of UWB US FCC defined a UWB signal as any signal with a bandwidth at the 10 decibel attenuation point most narrowband systems occupy less than 10 percent of the center frequency bandwidth and are transmitted at far greater power levels greater than 20 percent of the modulation frequency in time domain it is very narrow pulses on the order of nanoseconds which is very low duty cycle in frequency domain very wide bandwidth in the frequency domain at uh, very low power spectral density and fractional bandwidth equal to fractional high minus fractional low uh, upon fractional high plus fractional low divided by 2 equal to 0 0.20 or 20 percent advantages of UWB spectrum reuse is 3.1 to 10.6 gigahertz and coaxial with other users high data rate as hundreds of mbps or even several gbps with distances of 1 to 10 meters multi-path immunity which is path delay very much greater than pulse width low power is baseband modulation and which is no it has no carrier it is low cost is almost all digital and simple analog module and simple analog module interference immunity which is uwb system operate at extremely low power transmission levels high security Applications of UWB Communication, Sensor Networks and Tracking or Positioning uh, In communication, high speed uh, wide local area networks, mobile ad hoc wireless networks, ground wave communications, handheld and network uh, radius, intra home and intra office communication, stealthy communications provide significant uh, potential for military, law enforcement and commercial applications. Ground potential uh, in uh, sensor networks, it is ground potential in sensor networks, ground, pot ground penetrating 
red in sensor networks ground penetrating radar that detects and identifies targets hidden in foliage and buildings or beneath the ground instruction detection radars obstacle avoidance radars and short range motion sensing in tracking and positioning it is pgs and high resolution imaging indoor and outdoor tracking down to less than a centimeter good for emergency services inventory tracking and asset safety and security UWB characteristic it is extremely difficult to detect by unintended user which is highly secured and uh, it is non in interfering to other communication systems uh, that it uh, appears like noise for other systems both uh, line of sight and uh, non line of sight operation uh, it is pa it can pass uh, through walls and doors it is high multipath immunity it is a common architecture for communication radar and positioning it is low cost low power nearly all digital and single chip architecture here is comparison with other technologies uh, it is faster than bluetooth and wifi uh, its data rate of uh, 450 mbps instead of 1 mbps Uh, and it is complementary to existing uh, radio technologies like H zero two point one one, and here is diagram for uh, diagram for comparison with other technologies. Comparison with other technologies. Here is uh, the table table which uh, comparison of Bluetooth, UWB, Zigbee, and Wi-Fi processor. Here is the table of comparison of the Bluetooth, UWB, Zigbee, and Wi-Fi protocols in uh, different different standards like I triple E spectrum, frequency band, maximum signal rate, nominal range, nominal transmitting power, uh, number of uh, radio frequency channels, channel bandwidth, modulation type, and spreading. UWB technologies carrier free direct sequence which is DS UWB it can transmits a series series of impulses in view of the very short duration of the pulses the spectrum of the signal occupies a very wide bandwidth and next is multi band OFDM OFDM it is MB OFDM You see, is a wideband or multiband OFDM signal that is effectively a 500 megahertz wide OFDM signal, and this is a 500 megahertz signal is then hopped in frequency to enable it to occupy a sufficiently high bandwidth. Ultra wideband technologies. disadvantages of carrierless transmission first is complex signal processing the carrierless system must rely on relatively complex and sophisticated signal processing techniques to cover recover the communications data from this noisy environment second is inapplicability of super resolution bm forming inapplicability of second is inapplicability of super resolution beam forming since the theory of beam forming and super resol resolution beam forming is based on the phase relationships among sinusoidal waveforms it does not directly apply to uwb systems using pulses and third is antenna form factor UWB antennas are relatively small and use various emissions techniques not uh, necessarily optimal 
the disadvantages of antenna from factor uh, in connection with UWB consists uh, of the fact that uh, it is largely unknown due to the relatively novelty of uh, UWB transmission for most communication applications. Next is information modulation. Uh, pulse length is uh, nearly equal to 200 PS. Energy concentrated in uh, 2 to 6 GHz band. Voltage swing is nearly equal to 100 millivolt. Volt. Voltage swing is nearly equal to 100 millivolt. Power is nearly equal to 10 microvolt. Power is near equal to 10 microvolt. Pulse position modulation which is PPM. Second is uh, pulse amplitude modulation which is which is PAM on of keying OOK by phase modulation BPSK. Challenges uh, it is the uh, main challenge in is in the standardization different countries allocated different uh, spectrum re regions for unlicensed use interface with other licensed band trade offs with noise next is challenges main challenge challenge in is in the stand standardize and next is challenges main challenge is in the standardization different countries allocated different spectrum spectral regions for unlicensed use and next is interfere interference with other licensed band and uh, trade offs with noise and uh, desi design of antenna and uh, due to power limit set by FCC the high data rate is available only in short range which is less than 10 meters. Conclusion of this presentation is well suited for high speed and short range wide PAN. Conclusion is it is well suited for high speed and short range WPN. It supports multimedia data rates and offers inherent data security. It is uh, there is a uh, rep uh, there is a possibility that UWB will become the next best technology for all types of wireless networks, including wireless LANs. Next is UWB technology has very high potential in real life application due to its high bandwidth and low power. Next is very interesting application in wireless content transfer especially for HD videos. Thank you for your patience. Thank you everyone.